Hi everyone, this is Andrew Tan. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to pair a DaVinci Resolve Speed Editor to DaVinci Resolve Studio, which I'm running on my M1 Apple Silicon Mac right here. So basically I've just unboxed a fresh DaVinci Resolve Speed Editor and what we've got is the USB-C cable here. What we're going to do is to plug one end into the back here so we can start the pairing process. Once that's plugged in, I'm going to plug the other end into the MacBook. I've already got DaVinci Resolve Studio open and here we're going to plug this in. So here it's already stating that the speed editor update is available. What I'm going to do is to press continue here. And this is showing that we're connected, but it's at 0% battery. So you can see here some of the lights have turned on and that's now plugged in. It might be a good idea to let this charge for a little bit. So I can see that the wheel is connected and we're able to move through the timeline. If I full screen this, you can see that the, the timeline is definitely working with the wheel. I've not used the speed editor before, so this is a bit new to me. So when you connect up your speed editor, what the computer might ask you to do is to open up the DaVinci control panel setup. So if you can't find this, what you can do is go to Finder, go to the Applications folder, double click on DaVinci Resolve, double click on DaVinci control panel setup. So here we can see that the DaVinci Resolve speed editor is connected up via USB-C. And what we should do is do an update of the speed editor. So we're gonna click on this little button here and then click the update button. So once that's complete, we're gonna click done here. And we're seeing here that we're using version 1.41. We're gonna press save and that should be working fine. So what I'd like to be able to do now is to pair this via Bluetooth. So what we need to do is to make sure that we have enough battery. We can check by going into DaVinci Resolve Preferences and we can see that the speed editor has 16% battery. I believe that if it's red, then it won't go through the Bluetooth pairing process. What I'm gonna do is to now go to the Bluetooth menu. I'm gonna to go to System Preferences and then go to the Bluetooth section here. And then basically what I'm gonna do is to disconnect this cable. So once the cable is disconnected, after a few seconds, the DaVinci Resolve keyboard should appear in the Bluetooth section here. What I'm gonna do is to press connect here. So now the DaVinci Resolve keyboard is connected via Bluetooth. Here, we wanna close this. And here we can see that for some reason it's dropped down to 8% battery, but I'm gonna click save here. And now I can control this via Bluetooth. We don't have a cable connected anymore and that's all working correctly. I can see that if I full screen this, we have the full controls here via the dial here. So anyway, that is how you update and then connect your speed editor to a Mac via Bluetooth. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.